<laughs> Vet more right after this. Good morning, everybody. Happy football Sunday. What's today's date? Uh, September 20th, maybe? Yeah, I think All right, we'll get, because everybody wants me to say the dates. So it's September 20th, 2024. And we got a new segment coming to Yard Talk for the fall and every football season, to be honest with you. We got the expert over here. Really, the resident expert for football. All football, this guy right here. He's going to give you top five picks. Uh, top, three. top three picks every Sunday. I'd listen to this guy. I'm telling you right now, if you're better, you want to gamble, you want to put a couple dollars on a game, listen to this dude. We're going to walk over, get his picks. This is going to be a new segment in Yard Talk every Sunday. I hope you guys enjoy it. Check it out. All right. So I have Minnesota Vikings and Texan, Houston Texans for the first game. I think Houston's going to win because... Uh, you know, they have a hurt, Minnesota has a hurt QB. They have a horrible O-line. And then I think Texas is going to win because they have C.J. Stroud, the GOAT. Um, they have Tank, Dell, and more. What's your top game for today, like the most excited? The most excited, definitely Dallas. And, um, what time they play today? 4.25. Okay, good. Yeah, that's going to be a good game. You guys got his picks. You got him. The Dallas. Channing, the king of football right here. Dallas and Baltimore. That's the game you want to watch. That's it. What's the spread on that game? Do you know? I'm pretty sure Baltimore's winning by like 62%. Okay. Awesome, guys. This is going to be fun. I'm telling you right now, the guy knows his shit. I wouldn't, I wouldn't talk to him about football if he didn't know what he was talking about. He knows. Man, I'm way up here. Ugh. But anyway, guys, kind of a laid-back weekend compared to last week. I'm going to tell you right now. And I was sicker than a freaking dog all week. Uh, yeah, Monday afternoon, I started feeling off. And Tuesday, I woke up like 3 o'clock in the morning. I was soaking wet with sweat. My head felt like it was in a vice. I still sound stuffy, if you can tell. <laughs> I'm coughing stuff up still. <coughs> I don't know if I had COVID or what I had, but... <clears throat> Excuse me. I work from home, so I didn't have to go anywhere. Really, other I just shove something in the post office here and there. There's nobody in there when I go in, so I didn't expose anybody, even if I had it. So I didn't test myself. So, all right, guys. <laughs> I had to come out and improv. I'm not ready to come out and do this yet, but Channing's got to go to a football game, so we had to get his picks in before he left at 10. So there's going to be a little, you won't see the delay, but there's going to be a delay for me. I got to go and finish what I got to do, get my notes ready. I didn't prepare for this at all. So I'll be back with you in a minute. All right, guys, you got the picks. Go on DraftKings or wherever you do your betting and bet on one of his games. But disclaimer, it's still betting. <laughs> there's no guarantees in anything. And if I sound a little stuffy today, guys, it's because... I am. It's nice out today. It's nice and cool right now. It's actually a beautiful fall morning. Uh, no, I, last weekend, uh, I'm still flying high off that. And uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to add some, some clips to this video that I didn't put in last week's video from backstage. The vantage point from backstage was effing amazing. It was killer. But anyway, oh, there's people on the side porch over there hanging out. Morning, ladies. There they are, sitting in their eggs like chicks. <laughs> Nothing. I'll be over in a minute. But anyway, guys, yeah. I, uh, Monday afternoon, I'm working. I'm at my desk. And I just felt something overwhelming come over me, like ill, like an ill feeling. And by Saturday, or I mean by Monday dinner time, I was convinced I was coming down with something. And when I woke up, Tuesday morning around three, four o'clock. I was 
sweating. My head was the worst headache I've had in years. Uh, coughing stuff up. I know this is interesting to everybody. <laughs> but I kind of want to explain what's going on. I, I was worried I wasn't going to be able to do this this weekend because I still don't feel great. Let's check up the tree fort again. I've been over here in a minute. But, uh, yeah, Friday, Wade and James, Rachel, and Adeline come over. I bought Adeline. Heather and I bought Adeline this bubble machine at the state fair. And I've had it since the state fair, and I was dying to give it to her. And I finally had an opportunity to give it to her yesterday. That thing is super cool. I mean, it caught my attention from 30, 40 yards away. This guy had a tent in the middle of the walkway there, and I ran right over. I go, what is that? And I need it now. <laughs> oh, they got a post in here. What the hell's Oh, you know why? Because he's going to do a weird ceiling in here. Look at it. Hear that? Or it's going to be a stripper pole. <laughs> uh, you never know. Boys in their forts. <laughs> now the girls are going to sneak up this side hill. <coughs> I know the drill. <laughs> oh, that's what I was going to do too. Is I want to check out the Black Widow. I don't know where they put that. I know the recoil is uh, bad on it. And I, could, I can fix that easy enough. But uh, yeah, anyway, guys, check out some pictures of Friday and this bubble machine. It's pretty killer. Yesterday was lobster day, and what lobster day is in this community, our fire department, a few of the guys go to Maine, pick up fresh Maine lobster and bring them back and sell them to the community, and it raises money for the fire department. Uh, we do it every year. It's a lobster day, we call it, and I look forward to it every year. Lobster is, I only had one. I don't know if we have any left. I'm going to have to check. I, I don't see the Black Widow guys, but, uh getting out of breath quick too it's not good but they got the doors on the garage now that looks pretty freaking cool awesome let's go check the crick out but i hardly took any pictures yesterday i was not on my game yesterday guys i i, I was it took everything if it wasn't a saturday i probably would have just sat in my recliner and didn't do anything all day but it's it's pretty hard to lay low on weekends around here because we're all, you know, we all want to hang out all the time and I love it. I'm glad I did. I, I'm glad I didn't waste a day in the chair. It wouldn't have done me any good. I wasn't sick enough to lay around all day. <laughs> but we called it early. I think we walked in the house. It was a little after 8.30, somewhere in there. So I was ready to punch out early and I did. And I slept good and I woke up and, you know, absolute freaking funk for some reason i don't know why why maybe it is connected to not feeling good i'm not sure but i gotta get over it because it's football sunday and what do we do on football sundays we football and we sunday have a few beers eat some good food come on shay i don't know if she can climb up there like i just did Oh, they got the Halloween stuff starting. And it's not out yet, but I think that's new. I don't remember that one. This guy. I don't remember him. <laughs> All right, guys. Generation X podcast. I got to mention that. We started this thing, Rick and I, my buddy Rick and I. Uh, less than three weeks ago and it's blowing up it's exciting check it out if you're not a subscriber definitely subscribe i am going to start a generation x uh, podcast youtube page 
soon enough, but we're not we're not putting enough content out right now. I want to kind of build up to that, and then we'll get a YouTube page going. And uh, we are going to do our, our first live show wasn't going to be till after football season. I talked to Rick. We can't pigeon, pigeonhole ourselves into just Sundays because we're going to do it uh, one Sunday out of every month. And we got to do more than that and uh, mix it up like Saturdays even. Because I think like the atmosphere, like having people around and, you know, setting up and having people riff in and just, I think it'll be a lot of fun. Bring people in, talk talk movies and toys from the 80s and obviously music from the 80s. All cool 80s stuff <laughs> for sure. But there'll be more to come on that. But check out Generation X Podcast on uh, Facebook. And uh, there's a lot of fun content on there. People are sharing all kinds of cool stuff. But let's go say hi to the girls. And we're going to go back in. We're going to get this day started. I'm trying to squeak by without dying of illness. There they are. Good morning, girls. Good morning. If I didn't get put you guys on camera, I'm going to hear it. What? There they are. Oh, we're here. There they are. Who wants us on camera? Everybody. Oh. Hi, oh, everybody. Hi, everybody. Happy <laughs> Sunday morning. Happy football Sunday. It's a beautiful morning if you're not outside. You're it's crazy. freaking gorgeous it's out yeah. here. beautiful out. A nice cool breeze. Yeah, it feels great. It's Whoever's really good. not outside enjoying this Sunday morning is lame. Should be outside. <laughs> I, I, got a, I got a head cold bad <laughs> now. Do you want to take your tomatoes? What to me? Yeah, where is it? Right there. Oh yeah, I forgot. Yeah, it. I'm just gonna cut it up and eat it. Okay, cool. Fry it up. No, I put I just yeah, put salt on it and manja. Salt. Okay. Yeah. Oh, well, salt, little pepper. <laughs> it's an amazing, amazing tasting. How long are the boys gonna be gone? 11:30. Their game starts, so probably one. Yeah, it'd be good. Awesome. Okay, peace out, All right, we'll see you guys in a while. Okay. <clears throat> All right, guys. I haven't even thought about the flavor of the day today, and I will have to pull that out my ass because I'm not even really excited about it today for some reason. But you know what? I'm going to turn it around, take that frown, and turn it upside down. That's what I got to do. Say it like a mantra, like a freaking mantra, because it is a beautiful day, and life is good. Friends and family are healthy. I'm almost healthy. <laughs> uh, I gotta check my uh, there he just gone there's a dead frog in there just wondering if uh, anything ate it something obviously did but anyway guys I'm gonna go and pick the flavor of the day put ESPN on get geared up for some football today I don't have an appetite, so I can't think about food right now. Hmm. Anybody want to hang out with me today? I'm a, I'm a peach today. <laughs> but hey, guys, enjoy today. Throw some football on. Have a couple cold ones. Get outside and enjoy this day because it is gorgeous. After today or after the next couple days, it's going to turn and it's going to rain. It's going to be cold and we're going to be in the fall like weather. So if you like summer weather, get out and enjoy it today. Don't waste this day because you might not see another one like this for another year you know what i'm saying don't take it for granted so anyway guys flavor of the day coming up shay there's shay shay all right guys have an amazing amazing sunday and like i always say it ain't over yet peace corey's got the crustaceans the crustaceans it's going Butters over here. Fun of house, though. Are you guys kind of introing something first? Yep. And then we have an intro that could play. So. No, we're just going to announce you guys. Your intro starts. Cool. You go. As long as everyone's on the stage. No, screen, that's it, man. man. We're, hey, it's not about us, about you guys. Oh, good. Quiet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, brother. Come on, fuckers. Are we ready to rock and roll? We're yes, ready to rock. Generation X podcast. Generation X. Let's, yes. let's go, baby. Yes.